Hey everyone, Dr. Casey here, co-founder of Family Health Advocacy. I just wanted to talk to you today about an essential mineral that could be the answer to your problems of getting good quality restful sleep. Now proper sleep is vital to your overall health, both physically and mentally. That's why it's when patients first come into my clinic for uh, care, the one thing I'm most focused on in the beginning is that the patient is able to get good quality rest and sleep. Now there are a number of health risks that are associated with poor sleep that range from weight gain to depression and mood swings to a lowered immune system and even increasing inflammation. But two of the greatest health concerns that are associated with poor sleep are an increased risk of type 2 diabetes and a greater risk of heart disease and stroke. Now a number of studies published in the journals Lancet, Internal Archives of Medicine, and diabetes care have consistently shown that people getting less than six hours of sleep per night are at an increased risk of getting type 2 diabetes. A systematic review and meta-analysis published in the European Heart Journal reported that those people who aren't getting enough sleep are at a significantly greater risk of getting heart disease and stroke than those people who are getting a full seven to eight hours of sleep per night. Now all of this is to highlight the importance of sleep to your overall health and your healing process. Now in a previous video, I talked about the importance of getting your RBC magnesium test done if you want to accurately know your, what your magnesium levels are. Now magnesium is one of seven essential minerals and it's something that we should be consuming on a rather large dose on a daily basis because it's something that isn't produced by the body. I also discussed in that video that there's an association between low magnesium and an increased risk of heart attacks and deadly arrhythmias. So if you haven't watched that video, please go back and watch that when you're done watching this one. But get this, low magnesium or magnesium deficiency is connected to poor quality and interrupted sleep. And studies are showing that by increasing your supplementation or your amounts of magnesium on a daily basis will actually improve your overall quality of sleep. So because both low levels of magnesium and poor sleep are connected to a high risk of heart disease or heart attacks and stroke and type 2 diabetes and because low levels of magnesium is associated with poor quality sleep I'm gonna double down here and really recommend that you check your magnesium levels and address any deficiency that may exist. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like it. If you know someone that needs to see this and learn this information, please share this video with them. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment box below. Also, here's to you getting better sleep and achieving better health. You're one step closer.